After a bye week, the Tigers were back in action. The Tiger Football Report starts now. Welcome to the Tiger Football Report. Obviously, we are not in the TSN studios, but we are at the Green Turtle, right on York Road in Towson. Spiro Marikas along with the head coach of the Tigers, Rob Ambrose, and coach the Tigers taking on Albany this past weekend at Johnny Unitas Stadium. It was great to be back home. Unfortunately for the Tigers, the game didn't quite go very well. Um, take us through. Early on, you get the big turnover. You're able to tie up the football game. You had it at 14-14, but from there, things kind of got out of hand. You know, games have rhythms, and uh, it was a very odd game when you think about it. Like, they went down and scored, we got the ball, moved it a little bit, had a punt, pin them. They fumble, like, get a strip fumble, and we score at 7-7, but we've really only run, like, four or five plays. There's no chance for the offense to really do anything and have a rhythm, and so it happened twice. So we scored 14 points off of that, but... We didn't get a chance to drive and move the ball and allow our guys to get a feel of them. So it was a little bit of an odd game, and uh, we gave up a lot of big plays on defense. Didn't tackle very well, and it really hurt us in the long run. At halftime, you're only down three, 17 to 14. What did you tell the troops? That they brought their A game. That the, the championship teams, championship teams, it's my A game is better than yours. Not that I'm better than you. My A game is better than you. When LeBron James doesn't bring his A game, he can be beat. When he does, pretty much he can't. And that's kind of the message. And we went out and we played a little bit harder, but we, could, we couldn't get in a rhythm. Every time we got in a rhythm, somebody went down. Somebody else went down. Somebody else went down. And it kind of stole a lot of our thunder. We didn't respond well at all. In this game, their top two receivers combined for 299 yards receiving the football. Uh, I'm sure they weren't doing anything that you hadn't seen before. No, not at all. Um, Robbie, Schumann, or, um, Robbie Hubbard here got his first start. Got his feet wet, made some good plays, made some bad plays. Uh, that plays a lot of bit of experience. And uh, we got some help in the secondary a little bit, but we lost Kobe Tippett for an extended period of time with a broken hand. So we had to mix and match some guys back there. And it, when, the, when the safety isn't the best communicator in the, in the backfield, things get lost. And we lost a couple guys. Something we got to get better at. These guys got to get used to being the voice now that other people aren't. And the other problem you're having on the defensive side is really you're missing guys at every level. It's not like you're missing a cornerback or you're missing a state. You're missing defensive linemen. You're missing linebackers. You're missing defensive backs. You're missing safeties. I mean, at every level. I, it is what it is, and that's okay. It's not. Look, these are quality young men that are going to be very, very good football players. But there's a reason those other guys were the starters. And it's not just their play, but it's their presence, their voice, their knowledge, their wisdom. And while these guys all have talent, those voices, a confident defense is a talking defense. Guys know everything. The younger guys, they're still learning everything. So they're not as confident, they don't talk as well, and we tend to make mistakes. And they said, they're gonna be good, we're gonna have a chance to be very, very good, but those guys gotta start talking. They gotta trust what they truly do know and go cut it loose and have fun. And how can you accomplish that during the week getting ready for a game? Ah, it's part of, uh, we don't snap the ball now unless these guys are being verbally communicative to each other. And today was an awesome, awesome day of that. One of the best communicating practices I've seen our defense have in a long time. Well, on the offensive side, you never were really able, again, the, your two, two of your scoring drives, nine yard drive, three yard drive because of turnovers. You love to get the turnovers, but besides that, the offense really only had one other drive where you, you moved and were able to score. Twice we got the ball down close to the red zone or in the red zone and had critical errors on third and short third and low, you know, third, and a chance to be able to put points on the board and close the gap. 
you know, even with as bad as it was, we were down in there again on a third and four that turned into, or third and three that turned into something even longer because of a penalty. Kind of crazy, we had the first down, like the play, we had the first down, if not the first down, a touchdown, which would have cut the game to three. So, bad days are bad days. It's not what happens, it's how you respond. Your running game, Yee D had a couple of big runs, gets more touchdowns, um, and Adrian Feliz Platt starting to get into the mix a little bit more now. He's coming off of a knee injury from two years ago, but I've always heard that it takes a guy a while to, to trust his knee, to trust his body that was worked on. He's doing okay. He really is. It's just, it's a little more difficult now. If you, th if you think about what we did last year, we had Shane, we had Kobe, AP got hurt, but we still had a third back in Yeedy, and we could be very efficient, very aggressive with what we were doing. Uh, Shane's obviously out for the year. Uh, Kobe Young's chosen a red shirt, so that pretty much means we're rolling with two. And uh, we have to play the skill sets of the guys that we have for what they're good at and what they're not good at. And we're working on that. Although we did see Troy Vincent at running back this week. We did. Well, we had to change the number, too. <laughs> we had to. We couldn't have two of the same guys wearing the same number at the same time. All right, so the Tigers will be back in action. It is homecoming this week. The Tigers will take on Bucknell. Tune in later on this week on TowsonTigers.com as the coach and I will discuss the game against the Bison. So for the head coach of the Tigers, Rob Ambrose, I'm Spiro Marikas coming to you from the roof of the Green Turtle on York Road in Towson. And as always, go Tigers.